Yes, I'm inside. Yes, I used to wear fake glasses. And yes, I am that serious. And today, something a little special because we're going to have a discussion and react. Morgan Wallen, spin you around. Let's find out if it sets it off. Intro. Morgan Wallen, spin you around. Apparently, this is an old song that's being re-released. And uh, real quick, before we actually get into the video, I do just want to take a second and talk about business, right? Music business. Very complicated, very complex. There is layers to layers to it. There are... There's about nine unions involved. <laughs> you get splits and and who owns what and how does copyright work. And it is convoluted, complex, and really, really, really hard for somebody who is not A, well-versed in law, or B, well-versed in music contracts. It's really confusing. And not only is it really confusing, the truth is with record labels, and it's kind of the reason why record labels have sort of died off in prominence. Uh, the problem with record labels are is they're kind of shady. And they don't mind convincing a young artist to sign a very bad deal. Now, in modern times, that's a 360 deal. The 360 deal is, of course, the worst deal in all of any contractual things. Basically meaning you have to give the, uh, the contract holder a part of everything you do 360 degrees of view you have to then give to them and look it's been done a few times more than one and there's a few really really big names that are getting percentages of things they don't have any right to be <laughs> scott <clears throat> um of course, the most famous one currently is Scooter Braun and the Taylor Swift co catalog, which is why we are getting the Taylor's versions, which leads us into today's conversation slash reaction. And that conversation comes from Morgan Wallen. Uh, apparently, if you go on Morgan's Instagram page, you can see he has uh, captioned a photo and it's him explaining what's happening and what's happening is that he is basically being run over the barrel by a group of investors he called them which i think is it's telling telling he's it's very well calculated with very well thought out message that he's put out there and he's on a duck hunting trip which odds are he's with the dudes from duck dynasty but anyways this young kid Morgan come down to Florida and signed a couple deals with some not great people. And he's young. He makes some bad choices, makes some music that he is both proud of and not proud of because he's young and, and just learning how to become an artist. Now, 10 years later, that group of people is going to release the unreleased tracks that they would made. And they're kind of touting it as new Morgan Wallen music, and he has a right to be upset about it. Morgan has gotten ahead of it and tried to say that it's not his new music, it doesn't represent where he's at artistically today, and I think that's, that's a, a great message to get out there. Now, there is some kind of shady things happening around this record like i mean if you try to find the record right if you try to find you or the song spin you around right if you try to find it and you go to google here we'll, we'll just we'll just look at it you guys can just see it for yourself we'll just uh, hold on nah, hold on so if you look up Spin You Around by Morgan Wallen. The first one that comes up is the Pansia Records version from four years ago. 
38 million views. The one that he is okay with existing. He is proud that that work is out there. But it's this one. It's this one that I see interesting, right? If you look, it it comes up like it's from his YouTube channel, right? So you're like, oh, oh, okay, yeah, 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 this is the one. But if you look right here in the video description, standalone Panacea Records, right? Panacea right there. That is, okay. Now, if we go to his actual YouTube channel, you go to his videos, you will see that video isn't here. That version doesn't exist. You see how there's no tie-in to the standalone 10th anniversary? But if we go back, right there, it says standalone 10th anniversary edition. Look, but it, it looks like it's on his actual page. Now, to be fair, his fans have realized this and they are not clicking on that. Because if we come over here to the actual video, 185,000 views for a song that everybody has already heard. It's pretty impressive. All right. Let's, uh, let's stop yapping and just get to reacting. Now, real quick, before I go ahead and get the reactions in, just got to do the YouTube thing. So like the video if you want to. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. And please leave a comment to help Mr. Al go. Rhythm. Every time you guys interact with this video, it gives YouTube the confidence to suggest this video to someone else. And that is everything to a small-time creator. I appreciate the hell out of all y'all. Thank you so very much. All right, Morgan Wallen, spin you around. Let's find out if it sets it off. I don't think I've heard this record. I don't think I heard it because I'm not big into country music. But I don't think I heard the record originally. So let's go. I do think this is the first time. I've been looking at you from across the room. <laughs> I just realized that it says I had to leave the duck woods to make this. That's funny. <laughs> That's funny. I've been looking at you from across the room By the time I got my nerve hey, You might tell me, boy, hell no But hell, what can it hurt? Cause I just wanna spin you round and round this day Get you drunk. Oh, I have heard this song before. Yeah. You know what? I actually saw Morgan Wallen in concert, I don't know, probably about five, six years ago, seven years ago, pre pandemic. He was opening for Jason Aldean, I think. It was a good concert. I don't know. Fuck, man. Jason puts on a hell of a show. Let's go. But hell, what can it hurt? Cause I just wanna spin you round and round this dance floor Get you drunk on a love like mine My wind up and steal a couple kisses Get your digits if I can find a right line Well you don't do feelings But baby if you're willing I'ma do my best to change your mind Cause the way you stole my heart Without a sign Girl it ought to be a crown Got a pretty good feeling I'm taking you home Gonna love you with all I got But before we slip out into the night I just want one more shot To take your hand and spin you round and round this dance floor Get you drunk on a love like mine Might wind up and steal a couple kisses Get your digits if I can find a right line Well, you don't do feelings But baby, if you're willing, I'ma do my best
change your mind Cause the way you stole my heart Without a sign Girl, it ought to be a crime I fought in some bars Broke in some hearts Ain't never done nothing this bad I'm gonna be honest with you, if I... If I remember correctly, now, of course, this is the reason why we have gotten this new version is because he's going to have redone the music, right? Because he'll own the words. He'll own the... Man. He owns the words and he owns the performance. The only thing he won't own would be the original music, which is why he's put on new music. So now he owns that. I think that's the way it all works. I did not study music law, so I don't exactly... 100% know how copyright all works. I just know that it's broken down in three pieces. Everybody gets a part. The people who own the actual song get the catalog, but because he has the rights to make the song again because it's his lyrics, if he changes the music, I think is how it is. In a second, we'll play both versions, just a, a small piece of that Panacea Records version. We'll play the two versions and compare new and old. Yeah, with one look at me, you became my disease. They don't make no cure for that. And I just wanna spin you round, round this dance floor. Get you drunk on a love like mine. My wind up and steal a couple kisses. Get your digits if I can find a right line. Well, you don't do feelings, but baby, if you're willing, I'ma do my best. Change your mind, cause the way you stole my heart without a sign. Yeah, the way you stole my heart without a sign. Girl, it ought to be a crown. Now I just wanna spin you around. Now. I just wanna spin. All right, real quickly, before we get into anything else, let's go ahead and compare the two. But here, what can hurt? One, one more shot to take your hand and spin you round and round this dance floor. Get you that one. Yeah. Here with one look at me, you became my disease. They don't make no cure. So we had to change the music. He actually re-records the whole and I just tells a new sound. I like the sound. You All right, let's get out of this. Let's just talk about it for just one more second. Morgan Wallen, Spin You Around, 124 edition, his own version, MWV. You know how we go. Hey, man, shout out to him for understanding the business and trying to get ahead of this as best as he can. Look, there's sometimes you can't do nothing about the shady business that's happening all around us, and it happens a lot in the music industry. It happens a lot to young artists. But let's just take one second to say, if this is one of the first songs that this man ever wrote, wow. Like, uh, <laughs> there's a lot of artists that spend their entire life penning music and don't make something as creatively original and beautiful as spin you around and the way he's able to like make that sound and even in the old version it's really 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 good high quality stuff i look i understand that he's not really happy that there is going to be unreleased music that comes out there that shows his young and shows his growth but i think he's going to use this opportunity to maximize his exposure he's really going to make the best of it and honestly I expect nothing less from Morgan Wallen. He really does do incredible music, and he seems to have a good head on his shoulders. I know he's had his hiccups in life, but we all make our mistakes, and so I am excited to hear actual new music. So I'll just add this. If, if you happen to go on YouTube or onto iTunes or anywhere like that to stream this music, just make sure you're getting that 124 edition. Make sure you're clicking on the right things. And don't fall for the dupe. I'm telling you, it's out there. It's easy. You type it in. You think you're going to the Morgan Wallen one. But if it has any reference to stand alone, get away from it. Watch his version. Let's pretend like the other version doesn't exist. Let's rally around him like we did Taylor. Let's go. 
Anyways, before I tell you if I thought the record set it off, gotta do the YouTube thing. Like the video if you want to, subscribe to the channel if you're new here, and please leave a comment to help Mr. Al go. Rhythm. Every time you guys interact with this video, it gives YouTube the confidence to suggest this video to someone else, and that is everything to a small time creator. I appreciate the hell out of all y'all. Thank you so very much. I'm out. Psych. Morgan Wallen spin you around, sets it off, makes the playlist. I thought that was incredible. Brilliant. I'm glad he's getting into this. I really love the pettiness of it. I hope y'all just listen to that 124 version. Shout out to Morgan Wallen. Shout out to his fans. Let's go. Yes, I'm inside. Yes, my lighting is okay. And yes, I am that serious. I'm out.